CRKT crossbones. One of my favorites. Frankie's CRKT crossbones. Yeah, it is mine. Yeah, you've pretty much commandeered this thing. Uh-huh. I've not seen it much. Nope. It's my lunch item. By the way, we're out in nature. Yes, this is the frog pond. You guys have used to seeing our park reviews by now. This uh -huh. is the frog pond here. Yeah. We just went through like this whole like mating call section of frogs. Um, not us, guys. We were filming it. <laughs> we weren't mating, doing a mating call for the frogs. <laughs> <coughs> not quite. Back to the knife, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the CRKT Crossbones. It's fairly new, isn't it? It's only been out for, uh, I don't know. A few months, I think. 2017-ish. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you've had it for a month or so. Yes. And I've barely seen it in that time. You've kept it in your work bag. Mm-hmm. And you've, you've... It's my lunch buddy. It's your lunch buddy. <laughs> You've used it a lot for avocados and sandwiches. Yes, it is. Yeah, I, yeah. I cut a lot of things with it. If you follow us on Instagram, you've seen it. Uh, <laughs> you've seen it for different things mm -hmm. that she posts. Yeah, it's a cool knife. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. It, it's it's a fun knife, isn't it's it? It's a really handy knife too. It's just a really easy carrying, slim carry knife. Mm -hmm. It's a good slicer, so it's really good for just everyday items well we'll get to the blade it is relatively thin blade stock and it is a full flat grind okay and frankie i've just sharpened this knife today I know. So I'm gonna, on the kme i'm gonna put it to use tomorrow for lunch you've not used it since then i was checking uh -huh. it on some paper yeah this is very sharp i only took it out. i didn't do the mirror polish well i didn't do the lapping films okay but uh, i took it out to about um 1800 grit polish which is near mirror like. I did get a steak for dinner so I might use it tonight for dinner. This is gonna be your steak knife? Mm -hmm. Alright let's get into it. Okay. Yeah um 2017 ish design I mm -hmm. want to say we don't know for sure. CRKT. Frankie who's the designer behind this It thing? is Jeff Park and we looked into who he was. He is. Is. Assuming, <laughs> we're, assuming we're assuming he's still alive, guys. <laughs> True, yes. But it was interesting who we, we, we looked into who he is, mm -hmm. and he learned under Ken Onion, which is a, a big name in knife designers. Out in Hawaii. Yes. Sounds mm -hmm. rough. I know. Sounds tough out there. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's a cool design. Crossbones. You can see it kind of looks like when it's when it's uh, when it's folded. It looks it, like a dog bone. Looks like a bone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see it is a flipper, right? Mm -hmm. Let's start with the blade here. Okay. You guys can see it is sunset. Kind of a nice time to be out here in the park. Yeah, it is. Very Check pretty. this out. Nice deployment. Yes. What's the length on that blade? 3.5 inches. 3.5? Okay, kind of mm -hmm. average EDC. Yep. A little bit. 3.5. I already mentioned full flat grind on that. Mm -hmm. okay. It's kind of like a trailing point Persian style. So sure. When I use it to cut avocados quite a bit, I've been on an avocado fix for lunch. Yeah, you have. Yes. Me too. Just a straight avocado with some seasoning on it. Awesome lunch. Keeps you full. Great, great lunch. <laughs> you won't get any criticism from me, but anyway. I know. Yeah, some yeah. people might think it's weird, but it's a really good lunch. Um, satin, satin finish on that blade there. It's not like you really need a sharp knife to cut an avocado. No, no, <laughs> But this really. cuts it very nicely. Um, so it really, the, the trailing point is really good for slicing. So mm -hmm. if you did need something good to cut, um, this would be a good thing to cut. Oh my gosh, there's a frog right there. This Look is going to be the nature really channel. Cool. There's lots Look of frogs. Right Where? The stick. I don't see it. Oh, I see it now. Look yeah. at him. He's cool. How many people are turning away at this point right now? There it is. Whatever. We're nature lovers. Okay. Get for it. Look how cool he is. There's the frog. Okay. Now right. back to crossbones. Um, no, a satin finish on the blade there. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see in the in the sunlight. But um, to add to the slicing factor, it's a really thin knife um, blade. So it's 0 0.13. 0 0.13. I would so, say it's not ultra thin, but adding it, that it is yeah. full flat ground. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just really does make a nice slicer. And then I did just put that cami edge on it today. Yeah, that will and, be really nice. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to like that. Yeah. Um, Really, no no frills on the blade. Just pretty simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sharpening choil there helped make things easy. Okay. Os eight. Os eight steel. Okay, we see these budget steels a lot in mm -hmm. the CRKTs. Os eight, very similar um, in composition to eight CR thirteen MOV. Budget steel. We've 
we've tested it. There's other people that have tested it, whatnot. It's it's fine. It's a budget mm -hmm. steel, right? Yeah, it holds up. It holds up okay. You sharpen it, it comes back okay. Mm -hmm. um, I spent Frankie. I want to say. I don't know, half hour, 45 yeah, minutes on this? Yeah, you didn't spend much time on it at I, all. I reprofiled it. It was a fairly steep grind. I brought it down to something like 18, 19 degrees per side. All right. Yeah, okay. Um, didn't take very long. And, yeah, I mean, you'll put it to use and let me know how it holds up. And, yeah, and we'll, well, it it sharpens really easily. That's what's nice about it. It's not too bad, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, you've heard us talk about the steels before, okay? Mm -hmm. It dulls faster, but it sharpens really fast too. Sure, sure. So, um, it's really a lightweight knife. It's aluminum handle. <coughs> well, let's um, before we get there, let's talk okay. about the, the pivot itself. Okay. Okay. Um, now we can see the symbol there on the blade. See that that round with the circle there. That means IKBS. Do you remember what that stands for? I doubt it. No, I don't. I barely remember sometimes. Icoma Korth bearing system, I think is what it is. How would I remember that? I don't know. Like I say, I barely remember it. Yeah. Um, it's a patented, um, I believe it's patented, bearing setup for knife pivots. Okay. okay. Um, and actually, there's a lot of little baby bearings in there. <laughs> there, right That's inside the translation. here. Translation. <laughs> right around the right around the pivot pin. Yeah. There's a lot of little tiny bearings, uh -huh. and they and they're free to just drop out of there once you take it apart. I know that because we just took this knife apart. <laughs> and others in the past with IKBS. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, the video just before this, if you uh -huh. caught that, you'll see this knife. We've we've already taken it apart and yeah. done the centering, which we didn't get it just perfectly centered, but it uh -huh. is parallel. Yeah. And it is. It's, way, it's smoother too, so we're good with that. And retracting nicely. Mm -hmm. But yeah, IKBS makes for a nice uh, nice pivot, okay? Yeah. Just don't lose them. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah, that's the setup here. Um, did we mention the price? You can find them in some budget knives. It's a $60 knife. That's yeah. what we paid for this one at Blade HQ. Okay. Uh, Blade HQ. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> Give it some flips and stuff. Um, yeah, but getting to the handle that you were mentioning. It's what aluminum. About the handle? It is aluminum, and and look at that. It's a I think it's a brushed aluminum handle. Let's show that. You can see some different textures on there, some different it's patterns. It's ribbed for her pleasure. Oh my god. I She's mean, trying to do it. <laughs> First, it was the mating calls. <laughs> All right. No, it is. It, it it does have some little uh, little patterns milled into there. Yeah. Um, they give you some grip. It's okay. pattern for her pleasure. It's sure. not ribbed. There we go. We'll go. That. That'll clean it up just fine. <laughs> Okay, into the scales there. And it does give you some grip on there, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of that, onto the blade, the flipper tab itself has jimping. Yeah. Right? And on top of the blade, when it's deployed, there's some jimping there that is uh, coarse enough that does act as some traction, right? Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. Um, liking it, liking it. Everything about this knife so far, there's just nothing that... I just like the styling of it, too. I like the color Absolutely. of it, the, the two-tone of it. I mm -hmm. like the brushed uh, stainless on the top of it. Absolutely. And then I like the color combo. The minimal, the, the clip, I guess, could be a little bit different. It's a little just, eh. You want to talk about the clip? Okay. Well, okay, so it's two pieces of aluminum that we talked about in the middle. Yeah. Uh, or or um, on the outsides there. In the middle... It is a liner lock, right? And now mm -hmm. if you watch our video, or if you did watch our video, you'll see that it is a stainless liner yeah. um, inside there. There is a little bit of lock stick. You can yeah, actually kind of hear it a little bit. It seems like it gets better over time. It has gotten a little yeah. better and probably will continue mm -hmm. to. The action is great. The detent is great. Not, not one to be shaken out of there, yeah. okay? Um, there is a backspacer there for a lanyard, which looks excellent in my mm -hmm. opinion. I it's, think it's just sleek looking. It's not one of these free spinning pivots, which yeah. is nice. Okay. Um, where were we getting to with that? Um, well, should we mention weight real quick? Yeah, 2.4 ounces. Guys, super, is, super lightweight. Okay, this is a lengthy kind of a knife. I mean, it's not huge, huge, but it's a lengthy kind of knife. 2.4 ounces? Mm hmm. It's nothing. It's nothing. Bad flip. Whatever. Frankie. I'm not perfect all the time. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> now show that um, show that retraction too on this. And the detent. It's it's a nice detent, you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how's that? Um, 
How's the tab here? As far as with your thumb accessing it, it's a little tricky to access sometimes. It's a little, maybe. yeah. I mean, it I could know. be a little bit. I don't know. I think More it pronounced. Could be, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's nitpicking here, guys. It works just fine. It works just fine. Yeah. Where are we getting at here? Oh, well, you were getting to the clip. Let's talk about oh, that. Oh, it's just, I don't know. So it's it okay. is It is tip up carry, yes. Right hand only. Sorry, Sorry lefties. lefties. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I did it more nostrally. <laughs> you, you really did. Um, there's a single pivot screw, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there's a single uh, clip screw holding that yeah. in place. It's it, it, There's a little bit of a, um, a cutout for it though. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't want to move or or uh, swivel around in there. But yeah, it's it's a relatively deep carry. And yeah, there's not much to grab onto. I tried uh, tried pocketing it a little bit. Or yeah, as much as I, I don't could. know. I, I don't use it as a pocket carry. You've I been, just, do you have your purse around here? I No, I throw your it bag? in my work bag. Your work bag? Okay. Yeah. yeah um, for the way you've been carrying this one, you've been thinking about just removing the yeah, clip. Yeah, I might just remove it. I don't yeah. know. I don't use it as a pocket clip, so. Otherwise, it'll probably work. Yeah. I don't know. If you guys have these, uh, comment below and let us know. But uh, yeah, for I don't me, know. It, I really like the knife. For sixty bucks, I think you really can't go wrong for a, a good slicer. I agree. F functionality and um, kind of a just it's different too, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's different overall. The clip maybe not functionally the best type yeah. of clip. Yeah, I, I almost wouldn't mind like a more minimal clip, just like a real thin, just kind of. Thin and longer, of, yeah, actually. Yeah, almost it, just like a real minimal, um, I don't lower know, profile clip. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't I, mind a little bit. I always bit get more. a little nervous with these single hardware, these these uh, uh, single screw yeah. jobs on these, but, you know, whatever. A single screw job. Leave it to Frankie. I don't know. I just listen to what you say, and sometimes it's funny. Oh, what about, uh, so this one, this is a slim knife. Yeah. What's the width on this? We're talking handle width now. I um, 0. 0.44. 0. 0.44. So it's so very thin. 0. 0.50 being half an inch, we call that average. 0. 0.44. This is slim, you it's, guys. It's a slimmy. Yeah, not taking up a whole lot of room in your pocket. That's why uh, I feel like it could be a little bit more minimal on the clip because see, look how much comes out. It's a little bit pronounced. Like it's yeah. just, it seems like you could just make it so much slimmer. Yeah, perhaps. Or for Frankie, could just get rid of it. Yeah, I might just yeah. get rid of it. Yeah, but cool knife, the crossbones. We yeah. like it. Cool name. I like him. Yep. Yeah. Good knife. I Go like check out our other video where we take it apart and uh, try and improve on. Well, we we eliminate some of the avocado juice. Well, yeah. I'm gonna add to it again. Again, are you? Yeah. Well, tonight it's gonna be steak juice. Steak juice. Mmm. <laughs> What are, you, what are you gonna go for? Medium rare? rare? Yeah, that's yeah. One. medium rare. Medium rare, yeah. All right, I think that's everything nice on this juicy knife. Steak. This one was gonna be just a kind of a catch and release, kind of a just Heck buy. No, and, this is gonna be a catch well, and that's, keep. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> catch and keep. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I think this one's, I, I wouldn't have sharpened it. I don't think I'd have sharpened it. Yeah, I like him. He's a keeper. Yeah, see the edge on there, guys? That is the, I went to the 1500 diamond stone and then finished with the 1800. Um, Translucent Arkansas stone because I knew Frankie was using it a lot. Yep. Yep. He's there a you keeper. Go. Yeah. So, I don't know. Cool knife. We're liking this one from CRKT. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, we were going to bring um, other examples to compare to size wise. I didn't bring any. <laughs> we didn't. We kind of forgot we were doing other stuff when we were out. I and went the to only get my steak. My carry knife that I had in my pocket it was the slot from Kaiser, and that thing's huge. They compare well. Relatively. Mm -hmm. That's got my edge on there. <laughs> That's a true mirror edge, okay. But yeah, can't really, uh, I don't know. You can see how slim this knife is by comparison. Yeah. And then on my keys, got Frankie, you want to deploy that? The, <laughs> the Kershaw Cinder. No, bring it in. There it is. <laughs> There's the Kershaw Cinder. Yeah. That's what we got to compare. Frankie, what was, uh, what was your other carry? Did you have, did you have anything else? Um. Oh, it's in your bag down there. I don't know if you can reach it. I guess she's doing like a, an Olympic style stretch to, to reach to her other, to her, to her bag. Oh no, my keys are at home. Okay. 
Oh, no, you got... Oh, you got your Leatherman squirt. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, that's cool. That's all we had on us today. Yeah. All right. So not a whole lot of comparisons. But there's not a whole lot of uh, other knives in our collection anyway that really compare to this. Yeah. But, yeah. I think that's everything. Yep. On the crossbones. Pick one up if it appeals to you. We like it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they'll come up with some new colors. That'd be cool. Perhaps. I'm liking this one, though. I know. I really like it. All right. I'm just handling it as much as I can because I have a feeling I'm not going to see it now. It's going back to work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining <laughs> us, guys. Bye.